Hi guys, uh, in this video I would like to show the workflow I use to model uh, tunnel lines on hard surface models. Uh, technique itself works great both on a simple geometries like uh, this model we're gonna be editing here today as well as much more complex models and surfaces generated from splines or from surfaces using the loft and uh, and um, loft and sweep tools etc uh, the techniques itself is very useful for complex uh, complex uh, panel line patterns where the panel lines intersect each other now uh, normally the way i start um, i map out the panel lines using sketches now with this model, the panel line pattern is quite simple. So I'm just using uh, uh, construct planes and offset planes. And the way I start after I've got the panel lines mapped out, I proceed and start splitting the surfaces that map, uh, that contain the panel line. So let's start doing that. So let's start splitting the face to have the panel lines mapped on the, uh, on the face itself. So uh, one set of panel lines that go in parallel uh, along the model. And now we're gonna do another set of panel lines that intersect them. And I'm just gonna cut this using two different tools. Again, normally when the pattern is much more complex, I would create a sketch and use that sketch to uh, cut the uh, model. Now, uh, so we got the patterns mapped out on the surface. So you can see, I will want to um, have perpendicular panel lines along the model. Now, in most of the tutorials, the, the, the simplest way of doing that would be just to use the pipe pipe tool and you do an immediate cut. Now for a simple panel line, this works perfectly fine. However, as soon as you have an intersecting, uh, intersecting uh, set of panel lines, this doesn't work anymore because as you can see, you will end up with this kind of abnormalities as uh, the panel lines you mapped out earlier, um, you know, are being cut short by, uh, you know, your uh, uh, cut command done by a previous pipe tool. So this is this is perfectly valid way of doing this, but as soon as you have an intersecting set of panel lines, this is not gonna cut it. Pun intended. So. Uh, the way I do it in order to maintain a nice smooth geometry, rather than doing the cut, I will create a set of panel uh, panel line cut tools by uh, creating new bodies along the paths I've mapped out. So I've created one here. So let's say let's cut one. I'm gonna proceed and create another set. So again, another pipe, we're doing one here. So this is the one that goes along it. So we got another one. So again, new body. So this is cut two. Then I'm gonna do, okay, I've got another one missing here. So we're gonna do one here again, new body. Uh, and proceed, repeat pipe. We're gonna create a new one here. So, cut three. Let's see, I don't know why I'm even renaming it. It's just more of a habit. Um, and another pipe here. New body. Here again, new body, and here new body. And I think you already know, have an idea where I'm going with this. So we created a set of uh, 
cut tools that partially overlap each other. This will prevent creation of those little uh, little artifacts. But in order to even make it better, what I normally do is combine all of them into a single one. So, okay, this is now cut two. So even if we gonna do, uh, do it this way, we can already have a much better result. So I'm gonna now use the panel lines that are combined to cut um, uh, to cut the geometry out. So if you're gonna see now, the result is already much, much better. Now, uh, there is no artifacts at the intersection. However, no, this is still a bit rough um, when it comes to uh, the finish. So let's go back with this. Uh, in order to even improve the result, what I normally do, I take the fillet tool and on the intersections, I, uh, I apply the fillet tool at the intersections to create a much more nicer, smoother finish um, at those uh, points. So we're gonna do it here, 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 and one more here, here. Uh, okay. Uh, and one more here. Did I miss anything? Yeah. Okay. This looks legit. So let's do this. Um, okay. So let's give it a few sixty. And let's do the cut now uh, with the enhance tool. So let's do it. And now, as you can see. Uh, the cut is nicely done and we have a nice round finish on each of the intersections. So uh, definitely a much uh, better result. Now, uh, with this model, it's actually worked very well. Uh, but the benefit of that technique is also when you're doing um, when you're doing a panel lines um, that go Till end of the uh, end of the geometry. Now, if you're gonna see here, uh, in our case, it's not a problem because you can see the, pa uh, the cutting tool uh, goes a bit outside. However, um, if, for example, the geometry would be much more convex, the tool might have been a bit too short. So at this point, you can easily extend it in order to get a proper full cut. Now, if we're going to be very pedantic, as you can see, this one will probably cut a bit um, into, um, into the inside of the surface. But again, this is easy as we can uh, trim this tool a bit. So let's, uh, let's do this. So I'm going to split the body. Um, actually, it's probably easier if we're going to do it at bit earlier. So here, uh, where were we? Here, 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 before, uh, before the join, yes. Um, so I can do a bit of a, I can trim this little bit. Um, if, for example, I use this surface, maybe not the cleanest way, but it works. Yep. And we're going to do it on the other side as well. Again, with this bit. OK, and now let's get rid of the. So now we can easily remove. As you can see, there will be that little excess there. And uh, we would have also this bit so we can remove it. Again, rejoin everything, rejoin all of our cutting tools. Uh, again, do just checking 
I didn't miss anything. Again, everything is perfect condition. And finally, do the cut. And now, as you can see, the panel line finishes nicely uh, and doesn't cut into this geometry. So quite a useful way of doing things. Uh, does require a bit of extra steps. Uh, but the result is much, much better. Um, and as I said, this workflow works perfectly fine for um, any kind of uh, type of geometry um, and allows to create a complex pattern of, of the panel lines. Uh, another benefit here is obviously you can mix and match and have a intersection of different, let's say, panel grooves with different radiuses. So uh, thank you very much. And I hope uh, you found this video helpful and